Hello tech people. Today we're gonna make this beautiful pixel sand with a Raspberry Pi Pico. Let's get started. We will need a Raspberry Pi Pico, any variant will do, and an MPU 6050 sensor, an RGB matrix panel. This one is 64 by 32 pixels. Let's put the components together. The Pico has a lot of I2C pins. You can use whichever you like. I am using the GP18 and the GP19 pins. Connect the SDA and SCL pins of the gyro module to GPIO 18 and 19. Connect the power pins to 3.3 volts and ground. Next, we connect the RGB matrix panel. The display panel has to be powered separately. This panel needs about 2.5 amps of power, so power it accordingly. Then, we connect the panel to the Pico using a Hub 75 connector. I have a breakout cable like this that came with the panel. If you have a normal Hub 75 cable, you can just use some jumper wires to connect them. This is the pin out of the Hub 75 connector and the cable. Connect them accordingly to the Pico. You can use whichever GPIO pins you want. I will be using these pins in this project. Project link is in the description. Download the project files and extract them. Open Thani. If you need detailed instructions on this, watch our previous video on how to set up the Pico. If you have not installed CircuitPython yet, press the boot select button on your Pico and connect it to your computer. This will put your Pico on boot mode. Now, click here and select Configure Interpreter. Then, select CircuitPython from the drop-down. Click on Install or Update CircuitPython. Select your Pico and the Python version and install it. Done. Now select your Pico here. Next, in the Files panel, navigate to the Extracted Project folder. It contains all the necessary files and libraries for the project. The main code is in the code.py file if you need to make modifications. Open it if you need to change the pins. You can change the I2C pins for the MPU650 module here. Next, if you need to change the pins for the RGB panel, you can change them here. You can change the color of the pixels here. Next, you can change the number of pixels here. This part is important. In the loop, I'm reading the acceleration of the MPU module, because for some reason, the library returns the gyro values in the acceleration variable. So if your module is different, change this. Next, we are inverting the x-axis because the gyro sensor is upside down behind the display. Now, select all the files, right-click, copy to root. That's it. Disconnect the Pico from the computer and power the project. I have stuck the Pico to the back of the display. Now we have beautiful pixel sand. It is a bit slow on CircuitPython. There is an Arduino version of the library, but I couldn't get it to run. Comment if you have worked with the library. And as always, a like and subscribe would be amazing.